Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, I'm giving you a demo of some of the features included in CyanogenMod Mod 11. Um, so as you can see, I'm using the Nexus 5, oops, Android 4.4.2, which is currently the newest version of Android, and I'm just running a nightly. This is the official CyanogenMod Mod 11. Um, right, so first things first, I just want to say that I'm going to breeze through this kind of quickly because there's nothing really changed from CyanogenMod Mod 10 up to Sanjo Mod 11, actually I found it pretty much almost the same thing uh, for the most part. So starting with the lock screen, obviously you have um, the ability to customize these shortcuts here. You can swipe to open the browser, uh, you know, make a phone call, etc. You can customize all this, I'll show you how to do that very shortly. And you have the usual camera access included in Android and of course you can access uh, Google Now and add additional shortcuts as I have. I've added SoundHound and Shazam, so if I want to find a song I just literally swipe it up quickly. I'll show you how to add that too. So you have um, the stock generic um, Google Launcher, you know, for the Nexus 5, that means if you go to the far left screen, you have Google Now Access. Uh, this is actually the Sanja Mod Launcher. Uh, so you have the default Google Launcher and the Sanja Mod Launcher. So this is the Sanja Mod default launcher. Um, it's pretty, it, it's almost the same thing as a stock launcher. Um, so it's nothing too special. You can actually have, this is like one of my favorite parts. You can customize the notification drawer here. You have options to say, turn off your Wi-Fi, turn it on. Uh, data and all this other good stuff, you can easily customize this. Um, before, in the older version of Sanage Mod, what they used to do is that the amount of icons I have here, they would all actually fit, whoops, see Daisy, they would all actually fit here on the screen. The icon sizes would be a lot smaller, so that way I could get all of them on the screen. They don't have that anymore. As you can see, I have to kind of go over just a little bit. Not a big deal, but I do wish that they had the option to fit it all there before, like they did before. Um, you also have your quick settings panel here, you can, you can customize as well. Um, actually, the camera app, a lot of people would assume that things have changed, nothing's really changed. It's very similar to stock Android, uh, so there's nothing for me to really demo there for you guys. So let's just go to the system settings. You have your very generic stuff, Bluetooth, wireless access, uh, you can you know, select your default um, SMS app. As you'll notice that I have messaging. If you download uh, G apps, it, the default, like the old uh, messaging app is included. Plus you have Hangouts. You have the option to select your default home. As I mentioned, uh, I have Nova Launcher, but uh, uh, then you also have the default launcher from Google, the stock launcher, but then launcher three is the Sanjay Mod launcher. Very identical to the stock launcher. Uh, the lock screen. Okay, so here basically, you know, set the security, enable the option to add um, widgets. You can, you know, set your pattern if you want like a swipe pattern or uh, a digit lock, um, you know, for more security if you don't want anyone accessing your device. And of course, oh, where the heck was slider shortcuts? That's the one. Okay, so here, this is where you can basically, you know, swipe over and customize what you want to open up if you were to swipe over in that certain direction. Now, in terms of themes, uh, this has been around for a long time with Sanjay Mod. You can download hundreds, maybe thousands of different themes. So I'm running a Nexus 5. Um, Sanjay Mod is based on the stock Android look and feel anyway. But if I download, say, a Samsung theme, it'll kind of mimic TouchWiz if someone has created that theme. So you can always Google that and find themes on the net. Interface allows you to change not too many things. It's a uh, percentage mod for the most part is very minimalistic. So you have status bar basically. You could change, this allows you to change, say, the battery indicator up here. My camera would focus. As you can see right next to the time, there we go. Right next to the time, it says 38% in a circle. You can, you know, change that to something else. You can have like a battery icon, as you can see it's changed. I'll change that back. Quick settings panel allows you to basically change this here. So you can always customize these quick settings panel. You can add it and change a whole bunch of things. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. So here you can basically move things around, shift them around and add, you know, a whole bunch of different options here. You can also remove it. If I were to say select, um, which one don't I need? Well, I kind of need them all, so I'll just leave them as is. But just for example, if I say remove Bluetooth, swipe over to the delete trash icon right there. And of course, you can adjust the sound options, so you, this is the options you have available. Now, here's the weird thing. Um, in the This is the notifications panel. So this panel here is separate from this. However, in order for me to adjust the sound options here, I have to select it from the quick settings panel menu and then select the sound options here. So it, it's, it's a bit cluttered in that sense, it's a little confusing, but honestly, if you just play around with all the options, you'll figure it out. Uh, here's a bunch of other options, screen timeout options, you know, 
Okay. You can also have it so that the icons you have here can be linked here. So whatever you have here, it'll automatically have them here as well. I chose to have them separate by going to notification drawer. This is where you can customize, um, where is it? Right there. So all these icons here is basically how you customize this thing up here. Okay, so buttons and layout. Um, basically, you know, this obviously depends what type of device you're using. So a Nexus device, I can actually add and customize more buttons here. As you can see, the instructions are all there. Um, quick launch shortcuts. This is actually the, the thing I was telling you guys about, Soundhound and Shazam. If I were to swipe over to, say, this side, I can select, you know, a different app from select application or just a shortcut. So you can customize it however you want. It's really neat. Okay, so the next couple options I'm going to show you, nothing has changed too much. You have your regular volume controls. If you go down, um, you can enable a sound to play or even vibrate it, the mobile device when you connect it to a charger. Over on display and lights, everything's pretty much your generic stuff. Um, but you can control the pulse of the notification light for the next five is down here. And you have your generic stuff, but you can also customize it. If I want to have it you know, set to custom values per an application, um, I can always just add you know, more options. So I'll turn that on. Uh, by default, it'll look like this. If I want to customize my own application and add it, I select custom values and add whatever app I want to. So I'll leave that off for now. Okay, buttons. Uh, basically, if you select that, if you go to power menu, this is, this is an option where when you press and hold the, the power button, you can select what you want to show up here through this menu, which I'm on right now. And of course, you have playback control. Um, you know, long pressing the volume rocker here while the screen is off will kind of skip the track, like whatever music you're listening to. One thing I miss, uh, which is not available on my Nexus 5 or my Nexus 7 with Signage Mod 11, is the ability to activate uh, volume rocker waking up. So basically what would happen is there was an option where if the screen was off, you have this option, <clears throat> if you turn it on and your screen's off, pressing any volume button would wake the screen up. I actually like that option. I miss it because it's not available. I don't know if they'll include it in uh, a new version of Sanage Mod 11 because I'm running a nightly. So maybe they'll add that later on. But currently it's not available on my Nexus 5 or 2013 Nexus 7. If you go over to more, you can launch the uh, default music app, you know, when you connect a headset. Now, of course, there is uh, Pi Control which is something I demoed in a previous video. You can just search my channel for that because it's, you know, I've covered it already. There's nothing really changed there. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so you have, you should all know how to activate developer options, but there's another option called performance. In case you don't have that and you do want to activate it, all you gotta do is repeatedly tap your build number. So when it enables developer options, it'll also enable, come on, go away. It'll also enable performance. This is a, a, a part of the system where you must be very careful as to what you do. If you don't know what you're doing, just avoid it. So personally, th this stuff is, you know, beyond my knowledge, some of it, uh, actually most of it. So I personally avoid it for the most part, but just to give you a quick rundown, you can do things like set the, um, you know, the CPU frequency, you can play with the clock speed of your processor and all that other stuff. So be very, very careful using these options. I personally recommend if you don't know what it is, just avoid it altogether. And that's pretty much a demo of Signage Mod 11. Um, it's nothing too spectacular because nothing has really changed since Signage Mod 10, but I still like this uh, ROM. Even though I'm running a nightly, I noticed that the battery on my Nexus 5 has improved a little bit. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to know how to install Signage Mod, for the Nexus 5 particularly. Um, I'll put a link to a video in the description below or you know just simply extend the video description and you'll find a link to how to install Nexus, uh, sorry, how to install Sanage Model 11 for the Nexus 5. And that's pretty much it. If you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.